What's up guys, this is Matty, and I've got a very special video for you guys today. Uh, so the open beta for Diablo 3 has actually started, and it's only available for this weekend. And it's been like an hour and a half since the beta actually went live. And uh, I've been trying to log on for a, pretty much all that time. And uh, I finally managed to get on and create this character here. Uh, so basically what I'm going to be doing is just playing through this beta uh, over the entire weekend and I'm going to try and play it through once on each class and then play through with some co-op with some friends. Uh, but yeah, I just want to stress, I, ha I have to stress this guys, this is an open beta and right now everyone is frantically trying to log on. So uh, this may not be perfect and it may be very laggy, uh, but this is my very first playthrough. I have actually not entered the game at all yet. This is the first time I've been able to get on. Uh, and yeah, so let's get started. I'm super excited. Can't wait. <laughs> oh man, I'm excited. I just hope it doesn't kick me off. Okay, well I'm in the game. Uh, so this place ooh, it's a bit laggy. Death. The fallen star is near. Okay. I'm wondering if that's internet lag or my computer doing that. I don't know. Seem to be having my frames seem to be jumping around between twenty eight and thirty right now. Well, I know how to move, so okay, it seems to have settled down a little bit here. Okay, uh, let me just test and see that the audio is fine. Once again, I've set everything low so that you guys can actually hear me. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it at that and hope that it's okay. And wow, we're actually playing Diablo 3. I'm so excited. Holy shit. So what abilities here do I have? I've got Bash and Melee Attack. So that's left click. And that's right click. Q is for my potions. So as in Diablo 2, we have our inventory here with our slots and all that. Very nice. Okay, well, let's get going. Let's run up the road here. Go okay, have some sort of enemy zombie. Oh, I'm getting such low. What's going on here? Yes, I've encountered a monster. I'm really sorry, guys. I'm pretty sure it's not my computer. I think it's just you know a combination of BattleNet being laggy, uh, among other things. I'm just killing these guys here. Oh, this game feels so good. I mean. I was playing Diablo 2 the other day, and just playing this, it feels totally different, but at the same time, it's like, it's the same, you know? <laughs> I see Captain Rumford here. Star. Captain Rumford. fell on the old cathedral. There was only one survivor, Leah. You should speak with her. Okay. Captain Rumford, more dead are coming. We can't open the gates until we drive them back. Okay. Bashing them. The health is much easier to see than it was in Diablo, Diablo 2. I actually had this problem in Diablo 2. Yeah, thank you very much. So how do we look at our quests, J? Okay. I had this problem in Diablo 2 where I couldn't actually... Um, Oh, I'm sorry about the frame rate here and there, guys. It's, I don't think it's actually my computer, though, like I was saying before. I think it's just internet lag. There are a lot of people trying to play this game currently. Has to okay, cool. Uh, so we've got to go into the Slaughtered Calf Inn, which is here. But uh, yeah, in Diablo 2... I'm just going to explore around a little bit here, guys. Um, in Diablo 2, I couldn't actually play it in full screen, or else it just wouldn't work. Um... So like I have to play it by 800 by 600 resolution uh, in a very small window, and the health bars of the enemies is just tough to see. I mean, yeah, I just hope I don't get kicked off. It was such a nightmare to get onto this thing. <laughs> uh, here we go, Leah. Are you Leah? Rumford said you survived the fallen star. I did, but it blasted my uncle Deckard Kane into the depths of the old cathedral. I tried to search for him, but the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally the militia, but... Watch out! Oh. Let's go! Oh, I'm just pwning him. Oh, I dinged. Okay, level 2. 
So it's cool that you can just run over gold now to pick it up. That's awesome. Okay, so I've got a new skill, Hammer of the Ancients. Okay. Okay, so I unlocked that at 5. I get Rend. Seismic Slam and Whirlwind. That's the ability that I want. I'll be able to get that in the beta, I don't think. I think the max level in the beta is only 13, so... Except, we have a new skill. We have a Rage Spender. How do we look at the... Uh, there should be a way to... I wonder if I should change that. I'm just going to change this really quick, guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm not really sure what that did, but I changed it. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll try and raise the voice a little bit, just so we can hear it more. Apply that. Uh, yes, what do we want here? Display damage numbers. Why not? Uh, Auto-equip items. No. Oh, maybe. Nah. Zoom when your inventory is open. I don't know. I don't want to display health bars. I'll be fine. Um, where are the advanced tooltips? That's what I want to know. Where are they? Oh well, who cares? Right, we're just gonna keep going here, guys. The dead Delia. will overwhelm us all unless something is done. I will send them back to their graves. I will save your town. Thank you. You should speak with Captain Rumford at the gate. He can tell you what to do. Okay. Got to go back to talk to Captain Rumford. Now, I've watched people play through the beta several times, so I kind of have an idea of what I'm doing here. But, uh... There it is, Leah's book. So, if you hold Alt, it doesn't actually show you where items are to pick up anymore, which is the case in Diablo 2, but... Yeah, things just... Without holding Alt, that's just, um... That's just there. You've been under siege for six days now. Uncle Deckard is still missing. Captain Rumford and the others are losing hope. I tell them not to lose faith. But if help doesn't arrive soon... Okay. Thanks for that, Leah. So I guess we just read Leah's book. Can we talk to these guys? Have you come to help us? No. I don't care what uh, okay. Alright. So if we hold shift, I wonder if we can... Oh, we totally can! In town and everything! That's so cool. <laughs> I remember in uh, Diablo 2 that you couldn't could actually attack in town. Alright, so we gotta go back and talk to Captain Rumford. Found some interesting things on my latest dig. You should take a look. Okay, so I just wanted to make oh what the fuck is that? It costs seventeen hundred gold. Well, I don't know that much, do I? Max is pretty poo. I don't want to get rid of my shield whenever I can. Uh, this guy's voice here, I'm just gonna quickly talk to him again. Just listen to this guy's voice. Got a right good bunch of things for you this fine day. Okay, so if no one knows, if no one can tell who that is, uh, that guy voices uh, Kenpachi from Bleach and uh, Jiraiya from Naruto. I uh, just, I don't know, thought I'd fill you guys in on that. <laughs> How can I help fight the Risen Dead? I admire your courage, but Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered by those things. Only I survived. Your warriors will be avenged. Well, I have seen you fight. Strike at the wretched mothers and their queen. They're the ones vomiting out these horrors. They're attacking the barricades! Oh. Okay. So we're gonna some wretched mothers. Let's hammer the ancients. Oh man, that's cool. <laughs> that's one of the wretched mothers. There are more of them in the ruins down the road. Okay, thank you. Some thick gloves here. Picked up a new item. Nice. Let's put it on. Sweet. Oh man, I'm just so happy to be playing this game. Although I'm a little bit displeased about the bits of lag that I'm getting here in there. I, Deckard Kane, have spent many years traveling and writing about the strange creatures. Okay. I'm not going to listen to all that bogus stuff. Uh, not for now, anyway. I'll probably do it in a different playthrough later with a different class. Uh, as to what class I'm going to actually be playing uh, when the game comes out, it will be Barbarian. Um, I just, I love melee characters, they're my favourite to play in RPGs. Just, just pwning these guys up. Tough one, wasn't he? 
Oh, he went flying. That was awesome. <laughs> Not enough fury. Okay. Oh, I love the look of it. And I love how you can just run over gold. It's so frustrating just picking up gold like that. I will never forget the first time I saw these horrors shambling out of the misty woods. Our loved ones, buried long ago, rose from their graves and oh, cool began to attack the living. <laughs> However, the risen dead were only the beginning. More fury. Um, one thing that I love about Diablo, which sort of brought me to keep playing Diablo 2, was that um, I never really played Diablo 1. I mean, I played through it once and finished the game, and that was it. I never really went back and touched it ever again. Uh, but what I loved about Diablo 2 was the fact that the maps are randomly generated. Um, I'm not sure... I know they're generated in Diablo 3. I'm not sure to what extent, though. But in Diablo 2, they were, they were severely... Severely, that's probably the wrong word, but... They were heavily generated. I mean... Everything was different, to the point that, like, the entrance to the town would change, um, on the map and all that. Um, which I thought was just amazing. Now let's try and see if we can put one of these axes on. So we've got 2.7, 2.9. I think we'll put that one there. And that should be it for now. I've got full fucking fury, let's go fucking rape some shit. Oh man, that's so cool! <laughs> oh man, I'm just, I'm such a nerd when it comes to this sort of stuff. And, uh, this sort of... What the hell's that? Oh, health orb, okay. Um, oh man, I can't tell you guys how happy I am that you can just run over the gold and pick it up. It's awesome. Um, but, yeah, what I was going to say is, um, I really love that Blizzard have actually decided to make this an open beta. Um, I think it's a really good idea. Um, because... Okay, what was it? What's Richard Brother? Okay. Oh, simple dagger. It was white, so it's probably better than my axe, actually. Holy shit, it is. We're putting that shit on. We'll stick that there on the offhand. Is that the offhand? I'm not actually sure. Oh, let's have a look here. Oh, we'll look at that later. Who cares? Uh, I'm not actually sure how long this video is going to be. I'm just going to keep recording until I finish it. Uh, it's only the... As far as I know, it's only the first third of the first act, so... <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so it's about an hour's worth of gameplay. Um, see, I'm just going to keep going until I finish this. Hopefully I don't get kicked off or interrupted. If there's any lag or anything, you know, just a little bit unbearable, sorry about that. It's because, once again, this just came out and there's so many people trying to log on to it. Um, I really had a tough time getting on here, as I said before. Oh, Scarecrow. Ooh, okay, that spawns some zombies. Let's fucking take them out. God, I loved it. That's so fucking sick. Um, that is just amazing. Check out the physics on that. I love that. <laughs> oh, your mother. There we go. Oh, so we got a bonus here to kill more. Um, oh yeah, something I something I want to just quickly say is I've watched people play Diablo 2 quite a bit and I've watched people play the beta. A lot of people are under the impression that to move you have to keep clicking like this. You can see when I'm clicking here. Uh, where my cursor is located, there's like a little ripple. Um, you don't have to actually do that. You can just hold it down like this, and it's perfectly fine. Um, and you can also just hold... I'm pretty sure you can just hold it like this to kill a monster. Yeah, you can. You can just hold it. Uh, I prefer to click when there's monsters around, though. Unless my finger gets tired. <laughs> oh, man. It's so cool playing as a barbarian. Oh. I can no longer deny the true nature of the evil that rises from the depths of the cathedral. It is almost too horrible to admit the truth of it. It is the Dark Lord of Terror, Diablo himself, who plagues us. Okay. So Diablo's back, obviously. <laughs> Wouldn't be much of a game if we didn't know who the villain was. Much of a title. You need to grant me strength. I just, did I just... Was that a monster? Did I just kill that by levelling up? That's crazy. Um, so I've just learned Cleave. Uh, how do we access the skills? S. Uh, so it's here. Well, we're going to try it out anyway. Kind of think Bash will... Ooh, that's very quick. I was under the impression it was a 30 second thing. Um, oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> 
I'm liking that. Definitely be an ability that we use for farming later on. I was actually having a discussion with a friend a while back uh, as to whether or not this is an MMO. Um, MMOs to me are games where typically you can't play on your own. And you know, there's a lot of people. Uh, typically a lot of people who are playing at the same time, which Diablo 3 isn't the case. I mean, it is technically... I mean, you could classify it as an MMO. Where do you think you're going? Um, but at the same time, it's sort of different. I mean, the, the basics of it aren't... They're not really that similar to a game like World of Warcraft. Just right here looking for things to kill. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to go into this, this dungeon up here. I'm going to kill, find the Wretched Queen and kill her. I'm actually pretty tired. Um, Because I live in Australia, it's like currently... I don't know. Almost 7 in the morning, maybe. <laughs> Oh, there's a time up there, you guys can see treasure. it. Are the fiends hoarding it? Okay. Oh, holy shit. So there's a purple name. What is that? A hoarder of treasure. Oh, fuck, let's just fucking rape him. Come on! Not enough fury. Let's grab that blue thing. And the sash. Um. I know that there's treasure goblins too, treasure pygmies. And I'm um, curious to find one of those and run around and just rape it. <laughs> um, so what do we get here? A magic bow. That's not good for me. That sucks. Okay, well, what's that? Pants. We'll stick those on. We'll stick that on. What's that? What's that? Do we have gloves? We have gloves with five armor. It's two armor. Uh, we've got a sash here. What's that? Three armor, two armor? Oh, it's better. Stick that on. Uh, we'll stick that in our offhand. I can't believe that dagger's the best weapon I've got. Oh, look at that sword. How cool does it look? Um, now I, was, I had a train of thought, but I've lost it. Oh, yeah. For those of you who don't know, uh... As I said before, this game is randomly generated. Not just the map either, the monsters that you encounter are gener randomly generated as well. And, um, you know, spread throughout the maps and the landscape, there's, um... More fury. <coughs> um, there are randomly generated bosses, like that one you just saw there. Uh, he had a bluish-purplish name. Ones with gold names, I'm pretty sure they're gold. They were gold in Diablo 2. Ones with gold names are uh, bosses. Diablo himself. And, um. Oh, so this is Tristram, okay. Here we go. Here's the Wretched Queen. Right there, no worries. <laughs> I'm unsure if the names are still gold in this game, as I just said, but they were in Diablo 2. But anyway, those, those sorts of bosses, those uh, monsters are. They're classified as like mini bosses, or like sub bosses, I guess. And um, oh, nice. Chuck those on. What do we get? Regenerates one life per second. Nice one. Um, and they usually have like special abilities and attributes. Uh, for example, you could get a, you could run into a boss out in the wilderness. Like one could just appear right here and, uh, you know, have like a teleportation attack, like where he just teleports around. Or uh, one could. Uh, be lightning enhanced and like whenever you hit him he could like just spew out all this lightning that could just basically rape you. Um, now obviously because this is the first act it's pretty it's pretty simple. I mean I don't think I'm in any danger of dying. Oh shit, fucking hell. I love that the environment gets destroyed as well. It's just so cool. This whole 3D thing that's going on. Can't seem to zoom in though. Uh If you guys have noticed, those monsters there that I'm killing, they're actually... When I'm killing them, they're actually splitting into half, and, like, the top of their torso is, um... Becoming a new monster. That's the sort of things that I've been loving about. Like, when I've been watching these videos on YouTube, I've just been loving the fact that... You know, these monsters can adapt and stuff. It's not just so stale and... Griswold's fine weapons. Oh my god, this is Griswold's shop! Oh man, that's so cool. Griswold was like the blacksmith in the first original Diablo. 
And uh, there's a waypoint there. I'll touch that in a second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. And uh, in uh, Diablo 2, when you come back, because you could actually go here in Diablo 2. What's well, got an achievement? Picked up 500 gold. Nice one. So there are achievements in this game, and as always, I'm going to be super addicted to collecting achievements. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Griswold, you actually fight him in the second game, too. He's actually a boss when you come back to Tristram again. Anyway, let's use the waypoint here. I'm sorry if I'm rambling on and just mumbling, guys. Um, I'm very tired, and I may actually take a break in a minute. And I'm not going to log off. I'm just going to leave this game open. But I might take like a 10-minute break in a second and... You know, grab a drink and try and wake up a little bit more. I am very tired. Ah, uh, Captain Rumford, okay. Thank you for your help. But could you talk some sense into Leah? She won't give up on the idea of rescuing her uncle. Nor should she. I will help her find him. Okay. Quest complete. Got some gold. Might be able to buy that thing soon, that, uh, that weapon on the saw. So where is Leah? Where are you, Leah? What's that? Okay. Alright, well I don't know where Leah is. Um, I've heard a lot of people mis... Well, not mispronounce, I guess, but pronounce her name differently. Bard. <laughs> um, a lot of people say it Leia. Uh, I say Leah. Okay, what have we got here? Wow. Okay, well, we'll stick that in our offhand, won't we? So we've got two daggers, got some gloves there, which are slightly better for protection, but that one there regenerates life. I think we're going to go with this one because mobs do drop health uh, health orbs, and we can just pick those up. So, um, should be okay. I'm not going to worry about the, about the shields, not really interested in those. So we've got a lot of junk in our bags, just going to go sell this stuff off. Oh, there's Leah. We'll talk to her in a second. I'm going to sell some stuff. I've got a right good bunch of things over here. for you this fine day. Okay. What's that? Okay, well, let's just sell this stuff. Uh, I guess we just right-click it. Yeah, cool. I might keep that and give it to someone else. I might put that in my stash. I'm going to put that in my stash, definitely, for my demon hunter when I create one. Yeah, we'll hang on to those, though. Go chuck them in the stash over here. So something that's different from this game that was different in... Wow, the stash is incredibly small. What the fuck? 10,000 gold to buy 14 more slots. That's pretty insane. Uh, so yeah, all this stuff here, unlike Diablo 2, this is all shared between all your characters. I think. Um, I don't actually know. So before I talk to Leah, I'm going to have a quick break, guys. Um, so yeah, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. I'm not sure how long this video has been. I mean, this is probably like in the second part by now, but I'll try and upload these in 20, 20 minute increments, but yeah, if this happens to be, well, either way, just, I'll be right back. <laughs> right, back in a sec. And I'm back. Okay, so I just noticed that my MS here is green. Uh, 220, that's actually pretty normal for me in any Blizzard game, <laughs> especially living in Australia, so. Come, let us search for your uncle. We'll need to open the cathedral first. The guards locked it up before they were ambushed. Rumford told me they fought their way back to Adria's hut. The key must still be there. Okay. So I guess I got Leah now as a companion. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, let's go. The old ruins. Here, let me open the gate. I don't know. Well, you could just cut that open. <laughs> Adria was my mother, but I don't know much about her. She died when I was very young. I was raised by Uncle Deckard. What of your father? I'm told he was a great warrior who was lost when Tristram fell to the demons. I don't know if that falling stuff can actually hurt us, but yeah. I'm guessing it can't. That's just my hunch. So uh, once again, I'm playing this in 30 frames per second. I hope that's okay. Seems to look pretty fine to me. Ooh. What's going on here? A bit of a frame drop there. Yeah, I'm sorry about the frame drops, guys. I really can't do anything about it. Look, I'm pretty sure it's just the servers Follow at the me. moment. Okay. The hidden Your cellar. Had her secrets. People said she was a witch, but I never believed it. Oh, shit. 
Okay. So there's a boss here. So I guess purple is the name of the More boss. Fury. Purple is the colour of the boss. So holy shit, well he takes a while to die. Fuck. <laughs> Kill his minions first. What the hell is that? I guess it's some sort of attack that he has. I don't think cleave is the right thing to use on this guy. Let's see his cauldron. Nice potion there. Nice. Um, the combat is very fun, I mean. It's very much hack and slash and very fluid. And uh, I love that. So before we speak to Leah here, let's just see what we got. We've got some new armor, reptilian cloth tunic, which is better than this one. So we'll wear that. What's up, Leah? Here's the key and my mother's journal. What I've seen of it is disturbing. I want to know more about her, but that can wait. We need to save Uncle Deckard first. I will go. Stay here and learn what you can. Thank you. Aiden came to me last night. I suspected what was lurking within his troubled heart. I consoled him as best I could. Regard. Can't be bothered listening to that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Once again, I mean, when the servers become more stable, uh, I will play through this game as a different class, and I will listen to all the lore and all the text and all that. But for now, I'm just sort of, you know, trying to at least get some videos out of this. <laughs> oh, the enemies coming in. I might switch back to Bash in a second. Although, when the enemies clump up like this, it is pretty cool having this uh, frontal cone attack. There's a chest here. A short bow. Pick it up, no matter what. Uh, so, I guess we go through here. This is the only way to go. Uh, but yeah, I'm very... I'm, oh man, my nose is just tingling right now. It's like I need to sneeze, but it won't come out. <laughs> Hate that. Um, yeah, I'll really look forward to when this game comes out. I mean, this is really just a big tease to me. <laughs> I'm happy that they brought this out, but now it's just going to make me want the game even more, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to finish this, and uh, then I'm going to be like, Oh, damn it, now I want to keep going and see what happens. And I'm going to fight the Diablo. <laughs> okay, so I'm level 4. Got a new skill, what do we get? You have unlocked active skill category. Ground stomp. Oh, okay. well, this is new to me, what the hell? Okay, so I get to choose... Oh, what am I doing here? I get to choose my new skill. Oh, well, obviously. <laughs> I guess I can't really not choose a skill, hey? Uh, well, I've only got one now, so it's that one there. Smash the ground and stun near my enemies for four seconds. And that is keybound as one. Okay. Recharging. So it's a 12 second cooldown. Well, that's a nice little AoE stun. Um, I have read through these abilities. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> okay, let's kill these guys. I read through these abilities several times. Oh, there you see that? The enemies adapt as they die. Like, that's so cool, man. It's something I really love about this game. Uh, what I've seen about this game. I haven't played it before, hey? But, um, I have read through the abilities several Tristan times on the talent, talent calculator. Lies within. And, uh, wow, I'm just talking shit right now, aren't I? But anyway, I was sort of, like, trying to come up with a build that I would have for, for Inferno mode. And, uh, but also a build that I would have for PvP. And uh, this ground stomp is one of the abilities that I was really looking at. Um, I mean, with the runes, obviously it changes a great deal. Because uh, you can ruin all of your skills with several runes and it changes them greatly. But, uh, in the cathedral here. And I mean, that's going to make each individual player s probably severely different from one another. I mean, you might get some people here and there that are the same, and there probably will eventually be cookie cutter things made, but I really like the idea of these runes and how they work and stuff. I mean, it's just incredible. The fact that it changes the skill so much is just a great, this is great addition. Right, so the star fell here. Some cool effects there. I wonder how you zoom in. What's the chat? Okay. I know you can zoom in and get like a closer look of your character, but yeah, I don't know how, so it's not really important. <laughs> oh man, that was awesome. What achievement was that? 
Kill a monster with a chandelier. Well, there you go. And uh, here's another thing: these new record records records. Um, they have like a little, just you know, typical hack and slash type features in this game now. Like where if you kill like say like ten monsters in a row in quick succession, it'll give you like extra XP and bonuses like that. And uh, I think that's fucking cool. I love that idea. It just makes it more engaging and more entertaining when you're playing along. There's some bats here. They seem to be lightning based. What the fuck? Oh, this thing, okay. These things here break. There they go. And they turn into snakes. Snakes pour from their guts. It's ground stomping. Oh, nice! That is awesome! Oh man, I really can't wait for PvP. <laughs> what the fuck? There's a dead dude here just crawling along. Uh, wow. Okay. Okay. So here you go. If you can, if you see this, um, if you look under the health bar, it says teleporter. These are these aren't typically bosses. Right. Come on. Oh, there we go. Got a nice achievement there too. They weren't really bosses, they were just like enhanced monsters. Um, you could tell by their um, uh, their blue their blue coloured name there. Got some gloves, let's put those on. Increases gold and health pickup by two yards. <laughs> They're not really that great then, are they? So this club here is better than what I've got, so I'll do that. That should be cool for now. <coughs> So like this annoying copper of mine. There's a lot of monsters here. Let's try and round them up a little bit. See if we can get a nice record here. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Ground stop. Let's do it. Oh, go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, so cool. <laughs> oh, man, I love it. So glad I have to leave out right now. I wonder if I get some sort of record for this. Anything? Nice one, there we go. Massacre, 22 monsters, I've got 70 bonus XP. See, it's things like that which make games like Call of Duty and Battlefield really, really entertaining. Um... Can't stop. <laughs> See their fucking body, bodies go flying? Oh, it's so cool.